All right, all right, everyone. As you can see, we are having a beautiful day. Absolutely stunning weather. It's just uh, amazing. Well, I'm gonna show you what I've been working on. And show you where we're going next. Hang on, turn you around. Okay, I have spent the last two days going through and moving all of our plants out of the greenhouse. Well, I ain't got everything. I got peppers, tomatoes, and some other stuff. These are all hot peppers and insanely hot peppers. Now these are not the ones that I'm planting. These are for sale. Down there's some more. These are ahi type peppers. So ahi golds, ahi lemon drops, ahi pineapple, um, sugar rush peach, sugar rush red, sugar rush stripy, uh, and some special like ahi amarillos and ahi mangoes and ahi habaneros and so forth and there's some more that are for sale these are excluding them that's santa fe grandes but all of these are jalapeno or jalapeno type like black hungarians those are black hungarians right there we have the gato jalapenos Orange spice jalapenos, jalapenos, more jalapenos, more degato jalapenos, some brown jalapenos still left. And this is all sweet peppers. Now I haven't pulled our sweet peppers out of there yet, so that'll come down to be, be less than what it is now. And then we have tomatoes, and we have tomatoes, so, all right, so, here's where we are now, we are getting ready to plant tomatoes in what will be the double wall poly greenhouse. fabric laid out. This will be a double roll of tomatoes. This will be a double roll of tomatoes. This will be cucumbers. Double roll of tomatoes. Double roll of tomatoes. And the two outside rolls will be peppers. And uh, at the back I'll leave a little area for a workstation. And that'll give us hopefully what we want. We just gotta get to work on getting it finished. Now, I just watered the greens greenhouse. Tiffany's been pulling out the stuff that bolted. So it's looking a little straggly in spots, but it's still looking pretty good. And I just watered the DIY tunnel. There's a video on how making this if you want to see it. But I just watered the DIY tunnel this morning. So we've got a couple of a couple of probably about four videos on this. Uh, the kale is looking gorgeous. Lettuce is looking gorgeous. I think that's May Queen. But let me show you what's really exciting. Come with me. See our tomatoes, how big they're getting. And I told you we had some blooms that was getting ready to turn into tomatoes. Well, right here we have a Carolina. We got tomatoes on the Carolina. I mean, just look at these things. And this one is Clementine. You can see the little 
truss of tomatoes sitting on it. And this is Big Dina. So, really exciting. Alright, I'll bring you back in a second. I gotta burn, lay out and burn holes for the cucumbers and tomatoes. All right, well, I've got the holes burned in the fabric. So, now I can start planting. There will be 32 tomatoes here. It's 16 on each roll. And same here, same here. Cucumbers, same here. Tomatoes, tomatoes. So it's 128 tomatoes. Hopefully. So now I've got to go get the tomatoes. Okay, it is the next day. I ran out of time yesterday, had some things to do. We got these planted last night and watered in. I will hit them with some overhead again today uh, and, and tomorrow. Um, then we will hopefully get these on to drip for the weekend. So take you through. We'll discuss what we've got here. Um, I did not have as many greenhouse varieties as I wanted. So I'm going to modify. Instead of doing... And what happened? We've had a mishap. Um trying to control aphids in our grow out room and we ended up killing I hate to even say probably a thousand to two thousand plants um, and then we had a mishap with some bad potting soil from a supplier and uh, we lost a bunch of seedlings but that didn't take out my greenhouse varieties um, these but well yeah it did it took out my a determinant variety completely. I lost the whole crop of the determinant except for just a handful that I have um, in here that I'm going to hopefully plant in the next couple of days in that greenhouse. Um, so anyway, uh, this is going to be a double roll even though it's a single roll because instead of doing a single stem system I will do a V. And so we'll grow one up this way and then we'll grow another one this way. And that'll fill this space. So these are Sacroras. And the Sacora is a red cherry. Now the fact that these are a little crooked won't matter. You'll find out here shortly um, that that'll go away. We are going to tie these to stakes to start with. Uh, just in case. We should be past any freezes or frosts but just in case we're going to tie these to stakes so that we can go back over them with fabric to protect them from any any weather unless we get some kind of an insane freeze but the 10-day forecast is looking real good so i have 16 sakuras here and i do have a few more sakuras over there that's a sakura that's a sakura and that's a sakura and that's a sakura so i have Clementines, I'm sorry about the camera movement, that was, and some Edox. Uh, the, those are both cherry tomatoes. The Sakura, I think I just told you, is a red cherry tomato. Uh, Edox, I think, is a red cherry tomato. If I'm not forgetting something. I don't, yep, that's a cherry. I think it's red, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and the Clementine... If I'm not mistaken, is a orange, and I didn't label it. Uh, and those are sakuras again. So these that I've got that I skipped a spot, I will V them beside instead of across. Um, I almost had enough to plant this whole section, but I didn't. So that's what we'll do. Uh, here we have a big Dina. That's a red beefsteak type tomato. Um, 
and you'll see I'm being careful walking in the middle here. So I got several big Dinas. And this is a Carlina. My Carlinas got hurt real bad with the, they got the, it wasn't the potting soil. The Carlinas was the uh, spray for the aphids. Uh, my tomatoes did not take well to it. So I'm hoping these will come back. They're trying. So I went ahead and planted them on a maybe so. Uh, if not, we're gonna deal with what we got and work with it. And then I have Gin Fizz. That's a multicolored greenhouse variety. And I have one, two, three, four of them. Got a few stakes that need to be fixed. Couldn't push in by foot, so we use a hammer on them. And then this whole roll is Pink Wonders. Uh, Pink Wonder would be like a brandy wine type, pink brandy wine type. So I've got 16 of those. And then you'll see we have greenhouse variety. And I'll do the same thing on these Pink Wonders, by the way. I will V them to take up this space. And it'll give me a little more aisle room, too, um, for walking. So um, that was intentional on these two outside rolls was to give me space to walk between the cucumbers and the tomatoes. Now out here, this will be a separate video. Um, you have to watch our pepper series video on growing a thousand peppers out. This is going to be uh, sweet peppers and that side will be hot peppers. So anyway, the, uh, the cucumbers, we have all greenhouse varieties. We have Tasty Jade, which is a seedless uh, Asian cucumber so similar to an English cucumber but it's Asian and uh, we have uh, a bait alpha type I'm lost for words at the moment uh, Socrates I think maybe uh, one of my favorite nothing wrong with the Asian type either and then we also have a slicer which is Corinto. Now the Corinto, I'm pretty sure Spring Hill Farms grows. This will be my first year of good production with it, I hope. And yes, these plants are a little bit yellow. <laughs> they, sh they should have been out of the tray two weeks ago, but life got in the way and cold weather and everything else. So there we go. And as you can see, we're planting where our greenhouse is going and hopefully we'll get this covered uh, before too long uh, ends put on it and covered so that we can grow these all the way up into the into the uh, winter and maybe even longer so anyway I want you to see the rest of this if you enjoyed this be sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell that little notification icon the bell that helps you receive the uh, receive the notification that we have a, put up a new video, and uh, we'll take you along on this, and we'll do a whole video series on growing these out uh, and let you see it. It'll be pretty cool. You'll get to see it in stages. You'll get to see the growth of the plants. Um, you'll get to see the irrigation system, and you'll get to see the tunnel as it progresses too. On the videos, you'll get to see the end walls go up and the and the uh, wiggle wire and the plastic go on it and you know we'll have a separate video on the building of this but you'll get to see the stuff as it happens in stages because the plants will start to be inside of a greenhouse instead of outside of one so and we used couldn't do the tomatoes this way because they're too big but the cucumbers were plugs and i'm probably gonna grow everything in a plug from now on because i planted the cucumbers with this standum plant and they're not paying me to advertise this let me tell you i paid full price for two of them i bought a short one they got a long, taller version and a shorter version that's the taller version and i bought the short one for my daughter for she wanted it for um easter gift she's smart and we all loved it it's just a little bit too short for me i have to lean over just a little bit i can use it but i'm six foot well five eleven and three quarters of an inch and I have to lean over a little bit to use it. So it's just a little bit too short for me. So this is the standard version. And we went ahead and reordered one of them. And I tell you what, I love it. We planted all the cucumbers with it. And um, if your soil is soft, 
you really all you got to do is take your foot and step right around the plant and the rest of the soil falls right in around and packs it in i don't like leaving mine loose um if it's not soft then somebody have to follow behind you or you have to come back and tuck them in but um 95 percent of the plants go in the ground well five percent don't and but that's not a big deal and takes a little bit of time to learn to use it but we love it and if you're interested in that i'll do a separate video on that at some point anyway there you go be sure to like and subscribe and hey we appreciate you watching this video